And we're, we're live. We are live. And uh, what are you doing over there, Eddie? You, you dinking around? I'm dinking around. <laughs> and that's because this is dinking around with Eddie and Webby. Yes. Live, unscripted, raw, curse words. You never know what's going to happen on Dinking Around with Eddie and Webby. Speaking of curse words, uh, if you didn't tune in to episode 38, we had Kyle Mother Effin Yates on. <laughs> Where were you? You should have seen it if you didn't see it. You should have seen it. I agree. Uh, that was awesome. So much fun hanging out with Kyle. He's a cool guy. He's a, he's a local down here in Southwest Florida, which, uh, which is cool. And that was fun, man. Had a great time. Yeah, that was, that was so cool. That was, that was very awesome. Um, where do we go from there? I mean, here we are. It's just the two of us dinking around. So there's two options. And both of them have to revolve around the fact that uh, I need a break. <laughs> so option <laughs> right. one is I can, right. put, I can put the camera on you and you can roll with it or we can, we can roll a video. Which one? You know what? Just uh, I'll try it out. I'll, I'll see what happens if I go solo. It's probably going to be horrible, but you just you never know what's going to happen. I got this. All right, I got man. this under control. There you go. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. This is Webby, not Eddie. And uh, I'm, I'm going solo for the next few minutes or however long it takes for, for Eddie to take a piss. I'm assuming that's what he's leaving for. Maybe not. Uh, he's probably going to be pissed that I said he's taking a piss. Uh, anyways. Yeah, this is a lot harder than I thought to be here on screen by myself. I don't know what I'm going to be talking about. But anyway, the one great thing about the show is we give you the opportunity to join us. So all you have to do is send us a message on, uh, on YouTube or Facebook and let us know, do you have a phone or a laptop with a camera? And do you have headphones or earbuds? And do you have the internet? I'm assuming you do if you're watching the show. Uh, if you do... You can join us, shoot us a message, and we will let you join us live. I mean, come on. It's just uh, it's as easy as that. Give us a message, and we will have you join us, and we will interview you. You can interview us. We'll just talk about whatever. I mean, it's just that's how, that's how we roll. This is dinking around with Eddie and Webby. It is totally unplanned. Um, me being here by myself was unplanned. I had no idea this was going to happen, but, uh, but it happened, and I'm totally fine with it. And, uh, oh, there he is. Thank God Eddie is back. <laughs> <laughs> How'd it go without me, man? Uh, it was all right, but I feel like, uh, I don't know. I felt like the ship was starting to sink a little bit, so I'm glad you're back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good. <laughs> well, I had to go and uh, make room for one more of these. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think I'll, uh, I think I'll crack my uh, second Bell's Official open, if I don't mind. This is actually quite tasty. This is a new one from yep. Bell's. And uh, for anybody that's a fan of M43, which I am a huge fan of, I would kind of describe this as like a light version of that, like a, a lighter version. So um, not quite as big. A Zelda the cat, she's digging it. Hey, Zelda. Zelda always usually likes. Yeah. Usually it's Jack that comes for the, the beer section, but Zelda's joining me today. Oh, nice. Zelda, or which is the one that likes to rip the cables out <laughs> with your recording? <laughs> yeah, Zelda's the one that likes to cause destruction. So usually... Usually, uh, Zelda gets to spend time with her mommy <laughs> during podcast time. Her human mommy, not her, not her animal mommy. <laughs> I was going to say, I think you need to clarify. <laughs> yeah. Nice. She's a good cat. She's a cool cat, though. She just likes to uh, cause a little bit of destruction from time to time. That's all. Yeah. And Ganon keeps stealing her, and Link has to keep going and rescuing her. Exactly. Yeah. In fact, her, her full name is Princess Zelda. Little fun fact for you. I was wondering. Now I know. Man, so many good, so many awesome things to be able to talk about. Last time I'm uh, dinking around with Eddie and Webby, Scott Golden was on, which was great. Uh, but we had like a whole list of things that we wanted to cover. And you know how it is talking with Scott. The guy's just like, you know, he's, he's, he's so motivational, so inspirational, has such good content that we didn't really get to talk about any of it. And... Right. Since we're uh, since we're already starting, it's what nine p.m. Jeez, this is listen. I live in Florida, so this oh, is like bedtime for me. Yeah, this might be uh, this might be the shortest episode of Dinking Around yet, but who knows? We I mean, I still we got a lot of great things to talk about, and who knows? We could have a we could have a guest join us. We never know, and uh, and that guest could be you. It could be you if you want to join us. Just let yep. us know. 
let us know if you have a smartphone or laptop. Um, good internet and preferably a headset with microphone. Let us know. You could be live on the air with us. Um, oh, yeah. What, one thing that I think we kind of skipped over a little bit last time was the fact that it was our, our first anniversary of our very first podcast. Uh, and I'd like to go back to April 2018. The, the YouTube channel was still very new. Pickleball was still kind of very new for us. We didn't really know what we wanted to do with the channel, except for we knew we wanted to hang out and make fun videos about technology and beer and pickleball, but like the channel didn't really like, we didn't really know where we fit yet. You, you remember those right. times? Oh yeah. Yeah. We just, we decided that we, we wanted to start a YouTube channel together. Yep. Um, we used our, our nicknames, Eddie and Webby. We thought they had a good ring to it yep. and it, uh, yeah, we started it. You did the very first video ever. You did a couple videos that, that weren't posted public, but you did like the first video that we made public. It was like a vlog style video of your, so your day at the beach. <laughs> so I, didn't, bad. I, didn't, I didn't think it was that bad. I, I was amused by it. I mean, it was a little, little wacky, but no, I, I liked it. I thought it was good. It makes uh, in me fact, cringe, I liked, man. <laughs> uh, but in fact, I liked it so much. I, uh, I decided to rip your video off and uh, <laughs> yeah. I like pretty much recreated your entire video, just changed a few of the scenarios around. So, if you've never checked it out, I highly re recommend the first two videos on our channel. And oh, Zelda's going to take a little drink of the, the beer ski here, I think. That's not for you. You do not want to drink that. Anyways, um, but yeah, I, I highly recommend checking out the first two videos on our channel. Uh, because uh, like watch, watch Eddie's, his day at the beach. And then, uh, and then watch mine, which I called Pickleball Day. And uh, see if you notice anything similar. Like you could yeah. pretty much watch them side by side for the first minute or two, and they're almost identical, just a, a few little changes. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Um, pretty close after that, we had our uh, our Star Wars videos where I did a review of um, not. I was gonna say Return of the Jedi, but that's not the name of it. Um, the Last Jedi. The Last Jedi, and you did a review of my review of the Last Jedi. And then I did a review of your review of my <laughs> review of The Last Jedi. And that, that was fun, yep. man. Like th those, I mean, th those are like the least viewed videos on our channel, but yeah. I thought they were probably some of the funnest we've made. Yeah, I loved those videos. In fact, like we both, we almost put those on our top 10 list and we did, did our top 10 list of uh, 2018 because we both had such a great time with those. <laughs> um, I, still, I still go back and watch those from time to time. The, yeah. I, it cracks me up. They were, they were pretty funny. Good times. Um, yeah. And then the, the podcast kind of came about, I, I actually like, I had to really like harp on Webby, like, let's do a podcast. Let's do a podcast. Let's do a podcast. And he was like, ah, was no, I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not sure if this is uh something for me. Um, but he finally gave in and said, all right, let's give it a try. And even when I go back and listen to our, our first one, although it wasn't live, although it was edited, I don't think it's that bad. No, it's really not. Like I, I go back and listen to it every once in a while too, and like I, I'm kind of like not to toot my own horn or our our <laughs> own horns, but like I, I feel like we did a, a pretty damn good job for our first time ever attempting a podcast. Um, I was nervous as hell. I don't know if you remember. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I even even not being alive, I was super nervous because I just kept thinking, oh man, we're gonna put this, we're gonna make this public. Anybody can listen to it. Um, I can't screw up because I don't want to sound like a stupid dummy. I don't right. want to sound like a stupid dummy. Um, and it's just like, yeah, it just going into it, I was like, this is this is such a stupid, horrible idea. Why why would we do this? Nobody's going to be interested in this. I'm going to sound like an idiot. Um, but we did it. And it was actually quite fun. And I was uh, excited to do the next one shortly after. So mm -hmm. I definitely got to thank you because, yeah, if, if it wasn't for Eddie, it, we <laughs> never would have even attempted a podcast in the first place. So thank oh. you very much for that because it's uh, it's been one of the most fun things I've ever done. Yeah, they're fun, man. They're, they're a lot of work, but good timing. I mean, obviously, you know, looking back at it now, it's been a year. I mean, <laughs> I know I said this last time, but if you would if you would have said to me that your podcast is going to be where it's at within a year, I would have called you a liar that we would have had some of the top pros in the game on that we would, you know, like it's just it's absolutely amazing. Um, and and I feel like a lot of it is just kind of 
luck, right? Like, don't get me wrong. I like our podcast. I think it's fun. I like to listen to it, but I don't know if I never really knew if anybody else really enjoyed it or if they cared about it. And then, you know, it was just like uh, people started to watch it, listen to it and want to be on it. And it was just, it was pretty amazing. Right. Yeah. I, I could not believe it. Um, and the crazy thing that I still can't get over is almost everybody that we've asked if they were interested in being on the show has said yes. Um, in fact, I don't actually no nobody nobody has said no yet. Yeah. Nobody said no. Uh, some people said that they like can't right now, but they would love to in the future and stuff like that. But I mean, it's been uh, it's been awesome. Yeah, we've been able to meet some pretty amazing people because of it. So just reflecting on the last year, like I, this is going to sound like I'm trying to be a motivational speaker here and I really don't intend it for it to be to come across like that. I just want to speak real. If you guys want to do something, just go out and do it. Even if it sucks, it'll get better. And, and in your in your journey, right? Like we, we didn't go into this podcast thinking like, oh, we're going to have 300 episodes and, and make X amount of dollars and have, you know, a number of guests on. We just went into it thinking, hey, let's have fun. Let's try this out. Let's see where it goes. And in that journey, it's evolved into what it's become today. So just start, right. just start the effing thing. If you want to do it, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be well edited. If you listen to the audio on some of our first podcasts, it was garbage. Just start <laughs> the effing thing and see where it goes. Right. Oh, for sure. Yeah. If you're passionate about something and, and you want to just get it out there for the world to see, just do it. Cause, uh, that's what we did. And uh, it definitely worked out. And yeah, like you said, with the audio, I swear, like one of us would have perfect audio. Yep. The other one was screwy. Like it, like, um, uh, I think I had good audio the first couple times and then you made some tweaks mm -hmm. and yours was good. And then like, I messed up and didn't have my mic plugged in or something or the, the laptop mic was turned on instead of the, uh, the external yep. mic. And uh, just one thing after another, um, it took, I think it took us like at least six or seven episodes before we felt like, oh yeah, that, that uh, things went good on this one. Like it all didn't have any technical issues. Yeah. Um, but to be honest, like a lot of people don't even notice the technical issues that we notice. Like we just, we're, we're pretty anal about them. We notice every little thing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been so cool and uh, I love it. We've had so many great guests. I just, I can't, I can't get over it. Yeah. It's been awesome. Super excited about the year. I mean, think about it, like from where we came in a year, think about where we're going to be in another year. Just, it's going to be awesome. So, um, that's something I wanted to talk about, but is there anything in particular that you really wanted to talk about here, Webby? Well, so there's, uh, I've got a couple things I wanted to bring up a couple, a couple fun little things. Um, Oh, one thing I actually found out by accident um, if you have a Google Home or like the Google Home Mini, one of those types of devices, I'm not sure if this works with the like the Amazon Alexa or the or Siri or whatever Apple devices there are. Um, but if you have a Google Home and you say, "Hey Google, play the Eddie and Webby podcast," um, it'll do it. Is it doing it right now at your house? It is. Really? Uh. <laughs> Yep, so she's playing uh, episode 36, Talking mm. Pickleball with Barrett Kinchelo. Nice. That was a good episode. That was a very so, yeah, good episode. I, you probably can't hear it, but uh, my Google Home Mini is playing our podcast in the background. So how about for the, the rest of this, we just listen to episode 36. Does that sound good? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just sit here and we'll play it real low audio. So you have to crank your speakers up. So that way, anytime we say any comment, it'll be really loud. It'll be a great yeah. experience. You guys will love it. <laughs> Jack just showed up and uh, <laughs> almost made me spill my beer. I don't know if you saw like my glass raise up out of nowhere, but uh, that was Jack. I'm kind of looking forward to reviewing the uh, the footage of that because that was kind of funny. I did not spill it, but Jack definitely definitely tried to make it happen. Uh, hey Google, hey Google, stop! <laughs> it was kind of distracting hearing it in the background, but, it, but I, that's cool though. That's badass. Google yeah. will play our podcast if you tell her to. Him, yes. him or her, depending on the voice you go with. Uh, hey, Webby, guess what? What? Somebody joined us. No way. Did you set this up? Uh, I did set a little something up. I wasn't sure if it was going to work, though. Did it work? Yeah, well, that, uh, tell, tell us who, and I'll bring him on. 
Um, there is a uh, a group out there called Paddle Up Sports, and uh, somebody by the name of Kim Sharpton, I believe, might be joining us today. You there, Kim? Yeah, and yeah. there he What's is. Up, fellas? There he is. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm nice. here, fellas. How y'all feeling, man? What's going on, y'all? Hey, what's doing awesome. On? Thanks for joining us. Yeah, man. I think we're getting oh, no, a little feedback there. Right, let me see if I can turn up the, the, the sound down. I'm, I'm driving back from Camden, South Carolina after playing some, you know, some high skill pickleball games. My life was on the line. I had a lot that, you know, it was a lot going on, bro. But, you know, I made it through and I'm on my way home in the car. So hence the uh, the, the special lighting right now. All right, man. How, how far of a yeah, drive is it? How how far of a drive you got? Uh, about an hour and a half. All right, that's not too bad. You said you were in. Wh- where were you playing at? Uh, Camden South. What camp is it? Camden, 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 South Carolina. But what was the name of the course? Uh, about Camden, South Carolina. Of course, we put some headphones on so I can hear you guys clearly because. Nice. All the car ambiance is a little bit much. Hold on. Let's <laughs> no worries, man. As you know, it's a big time situation for me. <laughs> All right. Hey. I think. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we're better. Now I can hear good. What's up now? What's going on? Very cool. <laughs> nice. Oh, so, That's Eddie, uh, not sure if you're aware of this, but uh, but Kim actually dropped a new song this week about pickleball. Uh, it's a It's a ballad. About wanting to play, wanting to go outdoors to play pickleball, but you can't because it's raining. And uh, I've got to admit, that's a great song. I've had it stuck in my head all day. I think it dropped on Monday, <laughs> and uh, I just I can't stop singing it around the house. I got my daughter singing it. Uh, it's awesome. Great work on that. Oh uh, man, thanks, Web. You know, it's it's uh, you know, it's funny enough. Almost a year ago to the date, I um, May fifteenth. Uh, 2018 exactly. I was uh, meant to go outside and play a little pickleball, and uh, there was no uh, indoor venues open at the time. And uh, so, just on a whim, you know, just being silly, because something about pickleball does that to you, makes you just feel silly and do all kind of stuff that you know you wouldn't normally do in your everyday life. I just jumped on Instagram, Graham, and was like, uh, I just want to go outside to play pickleball, but it's <laughs> raining. You know, and I was just like, but I was just being silly, right? So Great. sure enough, man, we go to the we go to the tournament in the south, right? And I went to one of my guys, Jim, I run into him, and he's like, Kim, bro, I don't know what, you know, what's going on, but that song has been in my head ever since. And I was like, bro, you know what? It's been in my head too. And he's like, yo, you need to make a song out of that. And, you know, I was like, yeah, yeah. You know how people say stuff and you're like, yeah, 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 I do it. But you know you're not ever going to do it because you don't right. have to wherewithal to do it. So it was one yeah. of those kind of situations, right? So sure enough, some point after that, somebody hits me on my on Paddle Love Sports. And this is before I really started cranking. And um, they're like, man, you know, we let it do the song with you. And, you know, we talked about it for a minute, but it didn't manifest. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. But, you know, man, I want to tell you, last month, I was on the phone with my friend Brad Toe. I've known him for about 20 years. Cool dude. Uh, never played pickleball, unfortunately. So I don't know how cool I could really consider him. But all things considered, he's a cool guy. And... Uh, and he, you know, he, you know, uh, just all right. So wait a minute, just a little, a uh, little sidebar for those watching. I'm actually a recording artist. Like I'm actually a bona fide recording artist. I've had Billboard charted number one singles. Uh, went under the group called the UMCs, hip hop artists. I even reinvented myself as an artist called NY all over the years. And so I've had, you know, some moderate success as a recording artist. And um, and I'm pretty known, you know, I, you know. So um, with that being said, I'm not a singer. You know, I'm a rapper. And uh. So me and Brad were on the phone, and like I said, you know, I've been I, I, I've known Brad for about twenty years. I've always wanted to do some music with him. He's an amazing composer. He does video game uh, compositions, though, right? So you know how we were going to bridge this world, we never knew, but we always knew we wanted to do something. Um, I'm, I'm saying, like you know, I, you know, offhandedly, I'm saying, Brad, you know what? Hey man, you know what? I got this song, man. It's been in my head for like a year, man. You know, I'll be sending you this little piece that I did, and you know. Let me see what you can come up with, because this, this guy's really brilliant, right? It was 11.30 at night when I told him this. 6.30 the next morning, I had an email in my inbox, and that was the song. Oh, man. 11.30 <laughs> that morning, I had, I had wrote the song and recorded it. And uh, <laughs> so I had, I had, I had these two, 
these two major cosigns. So my wife came back uh, to the house. I was like, you know, babe, listen to this song. Let me tell me what you think. And she got a little emotional. I was like, okay, wait, I might, I might have something here, right? Yeah. And then I and then I let my youngest son hear it. He's like the top critic, right? Like he is, you know, he's just a critic. I said, what do you think? He's like, man. He's like, I really like this joint. You know, he didn't really care. He just thought it was good. I said, you know, we're gonna try to see what we could do with it, and uh, and that's how the that's how the process started, man. You know, and next thing you know, I started reaching out to some of the uh, players. I reached out to like Glenn Lucy. I reached out to uh, uh, Kyle Yates. Uh, uh, who else did I reach out to? Uh, Stephanie Lane, Dave Weinback, uh, and a few of the, you know, uh, Jay Hall, you know, Gizmo, a few other cats. I reached out to them. And so they was all meant to do a little clips. I was going to do a video and just put little clips of them singing a the song. I got a few of them back, a couple of them. They didn't get a chance to send them back in time for me to finish the video. I think some of them were confused as to what to do because, you know, it's just really like, yo, is this for fun? But man, right. I'm gonna tell you something, fellas. It's it's actually a thing now. It's like it's being actually distributed by a major company. It's distributed on all uh, uh, formats. So if you are a Spotify person, iTunes, Apple uh, Music, uh, you know, uh, uh, ten, uh, was it Tinder? No, not Tinder. Um, Title. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My 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 family in the background. They know everything. I'm just I'm trying. I'm just, yeah. Yeah, Paddle Up Sports is in here, full effect. Make some noise, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, nice. so, yeah, so we in it. But yeah, man, there it is, bro. So, you know, it's actually really being distributed as an actual song. Um, and uh, uh, and the video's coming out on Monday, man. All right. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, man. I yeah, uh, I personally I, I downloaded it and purchased it from uh, Amazon. It's on Amazon Music as well. So that is uh, in my yes. collection. And uh, yeah, I love it, man. It's great production quality. Uh, sounds great. It's catchy. Uh, even though like it's a ballad, but at the same time, it's still catchy. Like I, I don't typically like associate ballads as being like a catchy, hooky kind of song that I want to listen to over and over again. But I've I've listened to that song uh, at least twenty five times <laughs> since I downloaded it. <laughs> Not even kidding. It's so it's so bizarre about it, right? Like it's just like. I, you know, all right, so again, I've had number one singles in my life, so I know what, how to make a number one rap record. But I also know what the the, the, the elements of a, a, a hit record is, you know? And it was just, I don't know, man. There's something about that tune. There's something about it. And I mean, you know, I, I, I'm trying to be as, uh, you know, not biased as possible when I say it, but there's something about it that's just, and when you see the video, it's a tear jerk. I guarantee you, you're going to be like, oh, man, I can't believe he just did that. I, <laughs> there's some things that I did that's going to make you be like, wow, he really just went there. And it's, it's going to be something. Man. Right. A lot of people are going to be touched by this video. I do got to ask you a and question, the though. Amazing. I, saw, I saw something that you posted uh, a week or two ago when you were shooting some footage of it. And I got to know if it makes the final cut or maybe maybe you want it to be a secret. <laughs> but uh, uh, the ducks, I got to I got to hear more about the ducks. <laughs> Man, listen, so, all right, first off, you know, the song had been done, you know, uh, a few, like a week or two before we went to try to shoot the video. We were waiting for some rain to happen because that was, you know, I mean, what would, the, you know, what kind of video would it have been? It probably been, it had been a sunny day talking about, I just want to go outside and play pickleball, but it's raining, right? So it finally rains. And uh, at the time, my wife, it was just me and my wife. And I was like, hey, let's, we're going to go and record it. You know, we're going to shoot the video. And, you know, my poor wife, she really don't know how to use that particular camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to throw under the bus. She says she's driving right now, too. But, <laughs> I, you know, but see, that that wasn't a thing, you know. So we gave it a, our best shot, right? And it just so happened while we was there, man, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? Like a gaggle of ducks? What do you call it? Ducks just chilling. It was there was a crew of ducks. They, was, they just came through. <laughs> And it was a gaggle of geese is what it is. But I don't know what you call it. It was a, it was a, it was a posse of ducks, so, right? And it was ducktails is what it was. It was, it was a Disney adventure. Yeah. Uh, so, so what ends up happening is, man, they just, they just, first they walked by. So I thought I would be cute and, like, sing the song to them as they were walking by. So that's what I did. But they didn't really pay me any mind. So we kind of went about our business and, you know, went to start singing. And, you know, just do the, you know, record it normally. And as I was just regularly recording the song, you know, um, the, the video uh, piece, man, it came and it just surrounded me. 
and just stood there and just and 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 a couple of them sang along. I'll be honest with you, I was like, wow, <laughs> because I didn't know ducks could sing, which was hey, you know. So I, you know, we sang along for a little bit. We went back and forth a bit. Uh, they left me their number. I'm there, you know. I'm gonna call them for the tour, but I mean, hey, <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah, it's yeah, it was so just cool, crazy like, because that, that's the yeah, like you, you guys. You've, you've got to, uh, anybody who hasn't seen that video, you've got to check it out. Is it is it on your Pedal Up Sports Facebook page? Is that where people can see that video? Yes, it, yes you can. You can see it on the Pedal Up Sports page. Unfortunately, I, I have to say, we couldn't use the footage in the video because the, the actual ah. footage <laughs> that we did for the camera, it came out blurry, so we didn't use it. But it, it, I think it served promo piece, you know, and everybody got to get aware of the song even more. I just think it was yeah. really fun. It was it was really cool, man. It was a cool trip. I thought I took that as a good omen. So I went home and I looked up like what, you know, uh, what does it mean if you know if ducks approach you or like well, you know, what does it mean? And uh, so it turns out it means that you know if a duck approaches you, it means like you're supposed to take it light. Everything is cool because you know like the old saying, "Duck off a water's back." That that's that's relevant to the duck as a spirit animal. So, you know, I was like, all right, this is good. It also means if ducks fly over towards you or whatever, and if they quack or whatever, it means prosperity. And, you know, or that you smell like bread. So I'm taking it as prosperity. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> and not that I smell like bread. So, you know, I, I hadn't played Pickle Boy at that point, so I'm pretty sure I didn't smell like bread. I'm, I'm thinking it's prosperity. So I just want to carry about and encourage everybody. On behalf of the Dutch, to definitely go out and purchase the song and uh, support our efforts, you know. <laughs> yeah. Nice man. Yeah, yeah we'll I, definitely I, we'll, we'll we'll throw a link to it when we post this video. We'll definitely throw a link down below so people can oh. uh can go out there to to get that song. Yeah, for sure. You got you to hear the song. You got to download the song. But you, and you definitely got to check out that duck video because I, I kid you not, when I saw that, my first instinct was that you did like some green screen stuff because that, that was like Disney. That was like a Disney type scene. Like these ducks are just like they were standing perfectly too. like the way that they were standing. And then it looked like they were it seriously looked like they were singing along to your song. Like it just it didn't seem real. I had to watch it a few times to, to like see like, is this real or did he green screen himself in this really weird duck video? And uh but you like, know, there was, yeah, it's, there it's was one wild. Way to, there, there was one. There was one way to really discern whether this was real or not. You have to look at me, all right. Because if you look at me right now, I'm a city guy, all right. I'm a, I'm a New Yorker. I'm born and raised in New York. I moved down to Augusta. And this is recent, like the last five years. So you know, me and wildlife. This is and I'm. This is not wildlife. If it was pigeons, it would have been no problem. I could have handled pigeons. Ducks. That's another breed. So I'm thinking to myself. You know, I'm trying to keep my cool and still lip sync the song. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, so yeah. the, and it was the nervousness was real. But I was in my mind like, yo, you know, if I just keep my spirit, you know, stay at, you know, breathe deep, stay cool, good, you know, good positive energy, positive energy in the Dutch world. Because, you know, I felt like this, you know, in all honesty, you know, I, I might have, you know, I, I had a paddle in my hand. And if the Dutch were to jump, <laughs> and the day to jump, you know, you understand? <laughs> it wouldn't end well for those ducks. Right. But I'm telling you, I could have took them. I could have took them, brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm, my, my, I'm, I'm fast with this paddle. I got great reaction sound, so I don't know how to, you know, they wouldn't have fared well. And then it would have been a bad look because then Peter would have been on me, to, you know, this, that, so, you know. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. 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 I wouldn't, that wouldn't have been a good look for pickleball, so I thought maybe it'd be, you know. So I stayed cool and it all went well. Yeah, but I could tell from your reaction that it was uh, definitely real because it, it was like, is is this really happening right now? Are these ducks really yeah. right here by me? <laughs> oh, that was great, though. Awesome stuff. <laughs> oh, I think we're losing him. You know, all of the Eddie, can you guys hear me still? Uh, all those stuff. There you go. Oh, there you go. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm looking good again. All right, so what I wanted to say, I, did, I wanted to share with you guys and all of the fans of the Eddie Webby show that, um, you know, uh, one, I want to appreciate everybody has been sharing the video, uh, the song, and even the duck video, you know. Um, and also, you know, I just want to let everybody know that what we're doing with the song is that uh, I, a lot of people may not be familiar, they, you know, because they may, I mean, the first time they're seeing me, like, who's this guy, right? So, you know, what I, what Paddle Up Sports has been really dedicated to uh, since we've been engaged in pickleball is uh, youth advocacy and youth mentorship and, you know, bringing the sport to urban 
uh, you know, communities that really haven't been exposed to the game. And uh, so we're taking the proceeds of this song, you know, a portion of those proceeds uh, of the song are going to go to our efforts to, you know, just keep bringing the sport out to people, man. You know, it's not, not you know, we are, it, it, it's not a, it's not a if or not, you know, or not. It's just a, a, a matter of sustainability. And we're just trying to create opportunities to be able to continue to do the work of bringing this amazing sport to people. You know, I got to tell you, fellas, man, you know, we discovered pickleball about three years ago. And like I said, I'm a New Yorker. I'm a rapper. Like, pickleball is, is not in my DNA in terms of something I would have expected to play. And uh, But it, it's very interesting. And I was talking to a friend uh, that I just actually, you know, a new friend that plays pickleball out of Florida, and she's actually sent the clip in for the video. And we were talking about how amazing the sport is. And I was telling her that I grew up in a, in a very uh, neighborhood in New York. It's very utopian that way, man. I mean, there's a little bit of everybody in my community. And it was it was very much uh, Martin Luther King's dream, like that whole, you know, and young black boys and young white boys outside playing and, you know, all that. You know, that it was really that, you know what I mean? With a little sprinkling of everybody. And it was a, an amazing childhood, right? And then at some point, you know, life is what life is and the society is what the society is. And then we kind of all get divided into our little boxes and our little groups. And it was like, man, the world just took all my good friends that I grew up with me, you know, with away, you know. And, you know, that's a sad thing that the way this is the way the world is. Right. You know, not to preach about it because I'm not going to. But, um, man, pickleball gave that back to me because when I started playing pickleball, it was like all my my friends that are all my different friends, all my, you know, not the same friends, like the only, the only friends I'm supposed to be allowed to have in this society. It was, it was, it was all my old friends, like, in this own way, you know? Um, and it made me happy, man. It's, it's, it made me feel free again. And, you know, I play pickleball with my wife. And I think that's a beautiful thing that you can play. Well, sometimes it's a beautiful thing when she's playing good. <laughs> when she's not playing so good, eh. But, when, you know, when, when it, no, she's good. I played my wife when I first met her, you know, recent signs, you know what I'm saying? That was amazing. I played doubles, with my men's doubles with my son. You know, uh, my wife plays uh, uh, women's doubles with my daughter. You know, my mother plays. Like, this is an amazing thing. And I just felt like it was something that I wanted to bring to my community because, you know, that it couldn't, it couldn't be anything other than healthy. And, you know, if I could be very frank, you know, it's it's great because it's a stereotype breaker because people see us come to tournaments, they see us as a family, and people get to know us and we get to define who we are in our own terms. And, and and we get to show people that there's more that we have in common than what separates us. So, you know, I'm a real big pickleball evangelist for that reason, and I want that for my community. I want my community to be able to engage in this sport. And so, you know, again, this song... Is just one of the many ways that we're going about trying to facilitate doing that because it's important. And and I think it's, you know, I know people are going to solve all the world's problems, but maybe they make it a whole lot easier for us to communicate and be friends again. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. It, and uh, like I, I go all over the place playing open pickleball. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, I, I've made, I've become legitimate friends with a whole bunch of different types of people. Like, a lot of older people that I probably never would have normally gotten to know if it wasn't for pickleball. Yeah. Um, and all, all different walks of life. I mean, yeah, definitely. I've, I've made at least a hundred new legitimate friends as a result of this game. And I love it. It's amazing. Yeah. I love it, man. You know, I, I mean, honestly, <laughs> you know, honestly, man, I'm, I'm hanging out with people that I'm sure in any other circumstance I could never know. You know, or would never know. You know, right. I know. You know, what I mean, like, you know, you know, it's not. It's like, and and it be my boys now. Like, it's my my guy. Like, you know, having a good yeah. time, man. You know, that's an amazing thing. I just think that, you know, I mean, listen, pickleball not perfect by any stretch. You know, if you go on a pickleball forum or a pickleball underground, any of these different, you know, popular forums, man, it's like, you know, there's always somebody carrying on. There's always somebody, you know, some pickleball you know, bully, uh, you know, it's like mean girls or something like that. You know, it's all that kind of thing. And then the three fives feel like they're entitled to play with the five O's. The five O's got a little click. Oh, you know, that's the way of things. But at the end of the day, man, it's like, 
man, you get to go outside and play, bro. Like, who does that, man? Like, that's, that's not, you know, you get to go outside and play, man. Like, Cass is really talking about, you let's go outside and play. You know, not sport, but play, man. Socialize, kick it, you know. And, and it's just a place where you can read yourself. Like, I don't have to put on airs, cold switch, talk a different way. I am who I am, and I come out and I have a good time, and my drop shot is sharp, and my thinking is amazing, and I can bang, and then that's enough, and everybody respects that, and they give me love, and they enjoy it because I have fun. I think that's one thing in the world. So if I can help promote this sport in every corner of this planet, then that's what I'm going to do, man, one way or the other. Nice. Yeah. I love it, man. I, I have to agree. I think that it brings people yep. together that under normal circumstances probably wouldn't wouldn't be friends, wouldn't have the opportunity to get to know to you know, to actually get to know each other. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly, man. So you know that's what it yeah. is. And you know, like I said, you know, we're in the building, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let me give you a little let me let me talk a little hip hop is for y'all so I can give you some get your brains up right now. You so you already know what it is. Harold Sports is in the building, you feel me? Eddie, this is your drop. This is oh, your yeah. radio drop. You can record this. Yeah, it's funny, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what up, y'all? This is your friendly with a fly guy, Cool Kim, representing the UMCs. I'm going to Eddie Webby show you already know. We're getting it in pickleball all day, every day, zero, zero, 002. It's about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing it, man. You're just saying, having a good time, bro. Yeah. Nice. Love it. I love it. Love it. <laughs> Oh man, Kim, that this is awesome. I'm so glad you're able to uh, to connect with us tonight. Um, this is uh, yeah, this is the dinking around with Eddie and Webby show. We we never know what's going to happen each week when we do this, and uh, this is just another another example. We had no idea uh, that that Kim was going to be able to connect with us tonight, uh, let alone while uh, while in the vehicle uh, traveling. <laughs> uh, this is awesome. This is incredible. I love it. Hey, you know what? Let me just real quick, because you guys know his name. I'm not going to know his name, right? But I want to give a shout out, and you're going to tell me his name when I say, when I say, when I keep robbing. I want to give a shout out to the little viewer, the young cat that put together his um his pickleball rap song. All right? What is this cat's name? You know who I'm talking about, because the last time I was watching the show, he had made mention that he was going to do another song. Yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, that be it. Yeah, Jackson Marzani, yeah, oh yeah. the pickleball kid. Yep. All right, cool. So shout out to Jackson Marzani. You know what I'm saying? Jackson, if you're watching or if you should happen to check this joint, hit me up, man. I'm going to send you a real beat. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to shake it out on the track. We're going to do the one-two, one-two. We're going to get you right because I heard the first couple of, you know, first joints we did. And I'm like, all right, he need, we got we to we level up. You know what I mean? We're going to work on the track, get him right. And we're going you know, to put something real tight together. So Jackson hit me up. I got you, kid. Shout outs to you though for representing the coach and pickleball. Love is love. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get it get, we're gonna get it in. So that's what's up. We're gonna I'm gonna get him some of that some real hip hop so he can do his thing to it. You know? Oh nice. Yeah uh, yeah yeah oh, we gotta man. do that. That's what that's with the kids, you know what I'm saying? We gotta work with the people and you know we gotta do things, you know, a lot of stuff together, man. Like, you know, it's a good time, man. You know, this is a it's a good opportunity to like connect, you know, and do stuff together. So like, you, you should do it, man. Like, you know, you know, a lot of people right with this pickleball. You know what they're doing? Like, you might be into like crafting the quilting, right? So you can become a pickleball enthusiast, and then you want to, you know, you are one of the forums talking about, hey, I made a pickleball, you know, pickleball quilt. Like, all right, you know, cool. Like that's cool. Like you, right. you know, you're expanding. You know, you're taking this passion that you have for pickleball, and now it's like investing in your other talents. That's a good thing, you know what I mean? Like you got a passion for music, so you take and you do a pickle, or you, you know, you you do woodworking, so you make your little pickleball paddle out of wood, and you know, you make earrings and all that stuff is cool, man. I want to, I hope people do more of that, and you know, collaborate and you know, all that kind of thing, because it's it's only it can only make the culture better, and you know, pickleball is really becoming like a culture beyond. It's it's not like other sports that way. It's it's, it's, it's a, it has a culture to it, it has a real community. And so it's nice to see people, you know, do that kind of thing. So, you know, definitely shout out to everybody that's, you know, expressing themselves and expressing their creativity uh, as a result of this passion and, and finding new life in the things that they did because they fell in love with this game, man. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, absolutely. 
And uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but uh, we did uh, we did a rap song of our own called the Pickleball Anthem. And uh, but then this 13 year old kid, Jackson Marzani, the Pickleball Kid, he does a rap and it blows. I feel like it blows ours out of the water in regards to production value. Um, but then, uh, man, if you if you and Jackson collaborate on something, man, look out. That is going to be that is going to be fire. No yeah. doubt about it. Uh, what- I, this is what we'll do. I'm a, we'll get with Jackson, right? We'll get him sorted out. And if it comes together right, then we're going to let y'all feature on it too, all right? But, fellas, I'm telling you right now, y'all got to have a tight verse, man, because, you know, if you come with it, you know, if, if the verse ain't tight, we ain't, ain't going to be able to let you on the song, man. I'm just going to be honest with you. Right? We just ain't, all right. We just all ain't right. going to be able to do it, fellas. So y'all got to have it together. Because I can't have y'all dropping the stock value on me and Jackson, man. We're going to do a big thing. So y'all got to keep it right, man. You got you to gotta have it together. It's all good. <laughs> I can appreciate that. I can appreciate right. that. We have, to, we have to earn it. We have to earn our place to be featured on the track. Yes, all right. Yes. I see. I see what you're saying. You got you, you to gotta, you gotta earn your place. You know what I'm saying? You can't just earn it, but you got to earn it. So that's what it is. Right. Yeah. But yo, yeah, fellas, yeah. check it out, man. I'm, I'm on the road, man. I got the light flash on, stuff like that. You know what I mean? I don't want the cops to pull us over because you know how that go. But, um, All right, yeah. gentlemen, I appreciate y'all having me on. It's been a wonderful time talking to you. I'm big fans of the show. We're going to continue to watch. And, you know, I'm definitely going to support and promote it on our end. And, again, I just want to let everybody know I appreciate all the support that we received from the Pickleball community, how wonderfully we've been um, received in all the places and spaces. Uh, that we've uh, occupied and, and had the opportunity to visit from uh, playing from all the way from New York all the way down to uh, Alabama and, you know, uh, parts of Augusta unknown to us before we got there. And um, so it's just been a wonderful, uh, whoa, whoa, what the heck? What was that? Hold up, Jack. Well, yeah, hold on. The interview was about to be over, Jack. Something flew on me. Hold on. Wait a minute. That's what... You was about to hear, oh, my God. <laughs> no, but, but, uh, hey, this interview was about to take a left turn seriously. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> nah, but, you know, we just, we just want to say thanks again, man, and, and thanks for everybody that's, you know, downloaded the song, and thanks to all of you that have listened to this interview and said to yourself, man, that guy, that guy is awesome. Man, I can't wait to play with him. He sounds like a lot of fun. Because, <laughs> yes, I am a lot of fun. Yeah. And like and 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 you're like you know in your mind you're like yo I'm gonna go I'm gonna go download that song and buy it because I I like what he's about. Thank you in advance. I appreciate you. And I just want to tell everybody keep in mind the video will drop on Monday. So check us out on Palop Sports. Nice. It will drop on Monday, and it will you will see some faces that you recognize. Um, when you see it, please share it. And oh, one other thing, one other thing, and then I'm off this. All right, one other thing. So here's the thing. My understanding is we got a couple of celebrity types you know, bigger than I am, that play pickleball. So, you know, I want to really, like, send a challenge out to all y'all to, like, let's see if we can get this song in their hands, you know what I'm saying? Because that would be amazing. Like, if one of them would, like, to be posted or something like that, it would be unbelievable. So, you know, that's the challenge. You know, six degrees of separation, and with the internet, it's, like, one degree of separation. So let's see if we can get our hands, you know, get somebody, like, Kid Rock plays pickleball, I heard. Mm-hmm. And so, yep. you know, we get one of them cats to, you know, who else? The Kardashians. The Kardashians. Well, the Kardashians, that's what I don't call that pickleball. I, I, that's something else what they would do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice that they had it on the show, though, right? It was like, oh, that's good. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Work. I dig For it. Real, you you kind of winced when you saw it, though, right? He was like, oh, thank, oh yeah, <laughs> this is nice. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's yep. nice. That's I'm nice, right Chloe. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but Sam, man, you know that's what we're doing. So once again, fellas, thanks for having me. Thanks for me, let, you know, let me wrap y'all up for a little bit. And uh, yo, man, I appreciate it, y'all. Yeah, thanks, yeah, man. Thanks, man. Thank you for joining us. That was awesome. All right. Yeah, man. Stay up, y'all. I'm out. All right. Take it easy. Nice. Oh, that how was cool. how cool was that? Yeah, that was pretty awesome, man. That's what's great about this format is that it's just very right. open. Whoever wants to jump in can do it. I mean, think about it, right? We've had Gizmo. We've had Scott Golden. And now we've had Kim Sharpton on. Three solid guests. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's amazing. And uh, Scott Golden is actually watching right now. He left a couple comments. He said, three great friends of mine on here right now, chopping it up. And he said, Kim Sharpton, a.k.a. Cool Kim from the UMCs. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, I can't wait to see this video on Monday. That sounds like it's going to be pretty solid. Yeah, I'm super excited about it. Like, uh, I, I seriously, I downloaded that song on Monday when it when it got released, and uh, it, it is very catchy. I guarantee it's going to get stuck in your head if you haven't heard it yet <laughs> and you listen to it. It is, uh, it's going to get stuck in your head. It's, uh, I would say it's, uh, other than the pickleball anthem, it's probably right. one of the one of the first earworm pickleball related songs out there. Oh, and Jackson's song, of course, the pickleball rap from the pickleball kid, Jackson Marzani. Yep. Two of the best hip hop songs ever made. Move over, Tupac and Biggie. We're coming in. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. But if if Kim and Jackson collaborate yeah. on a rap song, you everybody just better watch out. Just yep. uh, watch yourselves and protect your neck, <laughs> as our friend Matt Loria would, would say. <laughs> protect your neck. Wu-Tang style. Uh, yep. that's awesome, man. Yeah, that was cool. That was good to have him on, man. That guy's another very motivational, inspirational guy. Love what he's doing with pickleball. Love, you know, the, the community aspect of it. And he's dead on. There's a lot of people that I would not cross paths with if it wasn't for pickleball. And it's just, you know, you have millionaires and people very low income, all different races, all different walks of life, all playing this game. And it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I love it. It's seriously the, uh, the one of the best things that's ever happened to me, just learning about this game. I love it. Um, and uh, one thing that I love the fact that, uh, that Kim brought up is the, the famous people that play pickleball. That's actually one of the things I wanted to talk about. That's one of the uh, the notes I had written down for today's show of things to talk about. You take notes um, for this? I I don't I don't take notes for it. Well, I just like I I mean like little bullet points thing, little bullet <laughs> points that I want to bring up during the show. All right, shut up, just shut yeah. up. All right, jeez. <laughs> but <laughs> um, but yeah. So the Kardashians. Did you see that? Did you see the video of the Kardashians <laughs> recently that was posted all over? I did, and I do agree with Kim. I don't think what they were playing was pickleball i mean they were no they were playing with pickleball paddles they had a pickleball there was a which i thought was funny was there was actually i don't know if it was their coach or somebody refing the match but there was somebody (laughs) there that i i I assume was supposed to know what they're doing and i was like what in the hell is this going on i think i didn't get it yeah the video that was going on about from that episode that's it's Absolutely ridiculous, but I gotta be honest, I love it. I love the fact that they mm. featured pickleball on there, even though like it was not good pickleball or uh could even be considered pickleball. Um, I still love the fact that any any exposure to the masses is good in my book. And yep. uh and I always like to do the the pickleball forum topic of the week, and that was actually one of the things um that got posted recently. And it's crazy how many people just openly show how rude they are on the pickleball (laughs) forum i mean people were people were calling the kardashians bimbos and they were like oh god this is horrible and they were just like bashing it like crazy and like come on man like this that that one clip exposed pickleball to millions of people that have never heard of pickleball before i mean to me that's a positive yeah i totally agree it was great to be on there uh and, and i think that after the Eddie and Webby versus Kyle Yates match, maybe we should do like an Eddie and Chloe versus Webby and Kim. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm down. I'm sure. I'm sure they're watching right now. So uh, Chloe, yeah. Kim, uh, put it in the comments <laughs> down below. Do you do you accept our challenge to do a, a little mixed <laughs> match? Yeah, they're they're, <laughs> they're watching right now. Obviously. Uh, Cause we right. have millions of viewers going on. So definitely. Yeah. yeah let us know. Uh, just let us know where you want to do it. You want us to come out to where do they live? LA maybe. I don't even know. I don't really know. Yeah, much we'll come them. to your place if you want. I mean, you okay. can, uh, if you want to come out to where we are, co- either come to Detroit, come down, go down to Naples. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll go where you are if you want us to, but uh, yeah, just let us know uh, when and where you want to play. Uh, just DM us and then uh, we'll get something uh, figured out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, DM. Is it right? DM or PM? Or is it or can you say either DM or PM? Uh, I think DM. Like direct, direct message? But like there's direct message? message, but then I feel like yeah, PM is private message, but like I don't know, what's the like what's the the what are the kids saying these days? Do you DM or do you PM? I don't know. I live in Naples, so like I'm the kid <laughs> of Naples. Like I'm the youngest person in the city. So I Yeah, no I feel idea. like I I'm a lot closer to uh, hipster towns, so I should. Uh, I'll I'll be the one that can. I'll find out what the. Yeah. Uh, I'll find out what the hipsters are saying. You find out. DM or PM. I think both work, though. To be honest with you. 
Yeah, I think they work as well. And I feel like uh, a majority of the pickleball players that are listening probably have no idea what the hell we're talking about with either of those uh, initials. They're like, nope. PM? Isn't that like uh, the time? Either AM or PM? Do, 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 <laughs> do you know what, what I honestly, until like two months ago, I didn't know what it meant? And that was the SMH. Um, I always assumed it meant such my hell. I thought it was shaking my head. Yeah, I think you're right. That that makes more sense. But I I didn't I, know. I gotta Google it now. Now it's bothering yeah. me. What what does what does S M like? For, I don't know. Such my hell. I feel like that doesn't even make sense. But that's what I always thought it meant. What it, does? Maybe it, oh wait, let me. I'll actually, actually I'll ask Google. Hey Google, what does S M H mean? Yeah, you're right. Shaking my head, man. What the? Huh. Well, how? Why did? Why did I think it meant such my hell? I don't know. I mean, do people even say that? Like such my hell? Is that a thing? I don't think it is a thing. That's why when you said that, I'm like, <laughs> I, I've never heard that in my life. I've never had like, anybody use that in my entire <laughs> life. Like after I said it out loud, I was like, that that doesn't sound right at all. Not in the least bit. Like nobody yeah. ever says that, and probably never has. Hey, you know what's crazy? We actually have a Twitch comment. This is from somebody that goes by oh, no, Go Kart Mozart. And they shared a video from NBC two news that was actually just released today. Uh, pickleball health concerns from Charlotte County. So I'm wondering if this is the Punta Gorda area, but anyway, looks like it's a video about health concerns. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what it's all about, but, um, Hmm. Anyway, did anybody out there see this, this clip that lives in Charlotte County? That's like the, I believe that's like the Punta Gorda area. I wonder what the health concerns are of pickleball. Like too much fun that mm. you're going to, you're going to hurt yourself having too much fun. Like, what? yeah, like, uh, yeah, you can, you can OD on fun. <laughs> um, you can OD on getting exercise. Yeah. Like getting much. healthier. Yeah. Um, now, the only thing I can think of is maybe like people that don't hydrate because you do got you got to stay hydrated. So make sure you make sure you drink your water. Make sure you drink any of the drinks that Kyle Yates mentioned earlier, which I forget, but I'm gonna review the footage and check them out. Uh, I'm watching a little more of the video and I can't hear it, but it says the pickleball noise creates a human health risk. So, what? all right, all right. I'm going to speculate here. I'm going to do a little bit of speculation about this real quick. And we'll throw a link to the YouTube video down below once we post this. But there was a, a I, I believe there was a condo community in Punta Gorda that was built by pickleball courts. And the people were complaining about the noise of the pickleballers playing on these courts, which apparently are really nice. They're right by the water. It's a beautiful park. I've never been there. But anyway, they were complaining about the noise, and I think they wanted to shut it down. So it was like this battle between the pickleball players and the people that lived in these condos that moved in, even though they knew they were moving in right by pickleball courts. Anyway, I think that I think that's the issue. So what I'm going to speculate here, and this is total speculation, I bet you that they went and found a doctor that said that the noise that a pickleball makes when it hits your paddle is harmful because it was like their last ditch effort to try and rid pickleball from their own little community that they sit home and do nothing in all day and, and get mad that people are out there having fun doing an activity that they don't want to be part of. I agree. I bet you're absolutely right. Like it, it blows my mind. I've seen numerous news articles about how people are complaining about all the noise from pickleball. I mean, like who the hell is complaining about pickleball noise? Yeah. I love it. I think it sounds fun. It's like sometimes yeah. I'll be, I'll be, uh, you know, walking around my community and I'll hear pickleballs being hit and it immediately brings a, a sense of joy to me. But then I'm like, well, what the hell? Why didn't they invite me to play? Who's playing on my courts and didn't tell me about it. And then I get real mad. Right. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. I can't believe like how could anybody have anything negative to say about this game? Like it's it's got to be people that have never tried playing it because I don't know anybody who has played it that didn't love it. Yeah, losers. That's who. People with too much time. Who the hers? I have found down here in Florida, it's a different. Um, people are different than what I'm used to, and and I think some of them just have too much time on their hands, man, and they. They got to find something to be upset about. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yep. 
Um, I get to. Um, so one uh, thing. To, uh, go ahead. No, want, no, you go ahead. No, you. No, 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 no. You go ahead. <laughs> so I get to play last night uh, at a really cool place. It's called Babcock Ranch, and it's a community in Punta Gorda that is about forty about an hour drive from here or so. And I got to play with my U.S. Open partner, Matthew Gear. If you're out there, Matthew, um, super excited that we're going to be playing together. We played awesome, but that's not why I'm talking about this. I had never known about this community until Matthew said, hey, why don't you meet me here? I'm going to be meeting with somebody, and we can play some games. Uh, it's like a, a, a new solar sustainable community that's kind of out in the middle of nowhere in you know in old uh florida farmland in punta gorda which is like just 10 15 minutes north of fort myers uh and it was really cool it was like a, a city enclosed in its own little area it had its own school its own hospital its own restaurants and stuff there were houses everywhere apparently it's a it's all renewable energy sources or you know a, a vast majority of it i don't know a lot about it but it was pretty awesome they had but this is what i thought was funny four pickleball courts and i think six tennis courts and when i was there for the three hour period guess how many people were playing tennis Zero. 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 Zero, zero, zero. Guess how many of the pickleball courts got played on while I was there? All of them. <laughs> Man, you're good. How did you guess? How did you know? I just Man, think it's I just, funny. I, I'm a wealth of knowledge. What can I say? Brand new community. And there's four pickleball courts and six tennis courts. That could have been another, what, 12 there could have been 60 12. this this could have been yeah. a meg metropolis i don't even know what the, megaplex right <laughs> uh speaking of plexes shelly mm. says is pickleplex open yet and have Ooh. you played there uh i don't believe pickleplex is open yet um i'm sure i will definitely be there once it does open um for those of you guys that don't know pickleplex is a new place going in in Punta Gorda as well. I feel like we've talked about like more about Punta Gorda than like any other media source has talked about in the last <laughs> month tonight on the show alone. Um, but anyway, Pickleplex is going to be going in. It's supposed to be a very nice and large pickleball facility. Uh, yeah, that's about all I know of it. But from what I've heard, it's going to be pretty awesome. Nice. Uh, Shelly also said, are you going to do any country songs? Uh, that's an interesting question. Um, yeah, that's actually another thing I wanted to bring up tonight. Uh, we dropped a new music video. Did you know that? Yep, we did. And uh, it is the Pickleball Music Mashup Volume 4, and it's all uh, hit songs from the 60s. And uh, a couple days ago, I, I asked people um, what genre... Uh, would you like to see us do on a future music mashup? And one of the suggestions was country music. So I, I don't know if Shelly is referring to that comment or if he just came up with that on his own. But um, we've had numerous people ask us if, we sh if we're going to do a country song music mashup. What do you think about that? Um, country is not my, my cup of tea. It's not my thing. Uh, I can handle maybe a little Garth Brooks here, you know, um, but that's about the extent of country. So personally for me, not my thing, but I also think it's important to put out content that people are interested in. So if there's a lot of people saying country, then we could probably have some fun with it. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. My, my response to the, uh, the person that said, uh, that they uh, want us to try doing country is that country is not my uh, not my favorite genre. Uh, I'm with you in that regards. I can tolerate it though. And, and there's there's a few like I like Garth Brooks, uh, Tim McGraw. There's there's a few country songs out there that I do like. Um, so I, I said it's not my not my favorite genre, but I am definitely up for the challenge. So um, yeah, stay tuned because there just might be in the future an all country songs version of the. Eddie and Webby pickleball music mashup series. I think uh, Tim McGraw, "Don't Take the Girl," isn't that from him? That would be a good one. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure if I know that one. To be honest, I know. I know. Uh, 
Actually, I can't think of one right now. I, I know I know some Tim McGraw songs. I can't think of one off the top of my head, though. Does he do the uh, that one song? Way down yonder on the Chattagoochee. <laughs> no, nah, that's that's that Garth Brooks, man. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah, I know. I know. I think or Tim McGraw does like from this moment. Or, ah, no, or that dude, I that's I that's like a wedding song <laughs> from Shania Twain. I know. I know some Tim McGraw songs. I just can't think of any. Don't Amber, take what, the girl. Tim McGraw song. That's it. Yeah, she doesn't. My wife is a country fan. I mean, she likes some country. It's not like a major country fan, but yeah. she can't think of one either. So I'm not alone. Oh, well, Webby, it's like an it's like an hour past my bedtime, man. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's it's late. This is this was a late night, but I think it was well, well worth it. I mean, for Indeed. one, we had Kyle Yates. We had Kyle Yates on episode 38 earlier today. That was amazing. And then unexpectedly, we had Kim Sharpton on uh, dinking around with Eddie and Webby. That was awesome. I mean, th- this was a an awesome night. I do agree. It was definitely a lot of fun. Um, I like this. I like this format. I like that we have the podcast. And then I like that we have dinking around where we just talk about whatever the hell we want. We bring on people if we want. We do whatever the hell we want on dinking around, right? This is our show. We do what we want on our terms. Yeah. What we want, (laughs) when we want, on dinking around. That's how it goes. (laughs) That's right. Well, any uh, any closing comments? Any any wisdom from you, Webby? Um, I just want to say uh, thank you to everybody that has tuned in. Um, we've got more people watching now than probably our first ten episodes combined. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. This, like I, I I love everybody that has stuck with us to this late hour of the night. Um, if uh. Yeah, I just, I just want to thank everybody. Thank, uh, thanks to everybody that's been on the show. Thanks to everybody who's watching the show. This is this is awesome. This is like a, a dream come true, and I uh, I just I can't believe people actually like what we're doing. But I love that fact, and we're gonna keep doing it as long as. Actually, even if people don't like like it, I think we should just keep doing it. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Let's just keep on keeping on with this show. We'll keep doing yeah, it because yeah. we enjoy it. We hope you guys do too. This is episode four of dinking around with eddie and webby so we appreciate the four of you that are out there actually there's more than four which is awesome so thank you guys for sticking around we do appreciate it and on that note i'm eddie and until next time this is webby not eddie signing off see ya